So if you are unfamiliar with this app, I'm going to give you a little tour. And this video is not sponsored or anything like that. Lord knows I wish it was, but it's not. But I just wanted to show this to you guys because I know sometimes a lot of you guys have questions and I am always like, why not give information when you know what it is? I feel like sometimes people like just keep stuff to themselves or hide information that could be useful to somebody else. And it's kind of like for what? The YouTube sea is big enough for all of us to swim in. So let's just share the love. For those of you guys that are on YouTube or that do YouTube and you do not have this app, you need to go to your app store and you need to get it because it'll probably make your life a little bit easier as I know it does make my life a little bit easier. So it's the Creator Studio app and just to show it to you briefly, it looks like this. This little app right here. Boys working on empty. Is that the kind of way to face the burning heat? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's vlog. Okay, so the first app we're gonna look at is the YouTube Studio app. It's really cool because it gives you your analytics, um, all of them. So you have your watch time, your views, your subscriber change. It lets you know how your videos are performing um, based on the views, how they're doing. This is for my FemSpot channel. These little green things indicate whether you are up or down from the previous month or previous week. I think you can do the last 28 days or you can do the last seven days. You can kind of change the settings around. So that's your overview. Then you can skip over to your discovery and this kind of breaks down all of your traffic sources, your, the top sources from how people are getting to your channel. It gives you your YouTube search terms so that you're able to know how your videos are performing in search engine wise. Uh, keywords are being searched and the percentage of the views that are coming in from your channel based on those search terms. It lets you know what type of videos, the top videos that are suggesting your content. And it also even breaks down for you like different playlists that people have that have your content in them. So really super helpful on the back end, on you know the backside of YouTube as you know a business for you. Also up here in your top portion, if you are making money from YouTube, your estimated revenue will also be in there where you can also kind of keep watch of how your income is doing. It gives you information about your audience. And then you have some interactive content and your playlist. Now, how I use this app. So the way that I basically use this app is after I get finished uploading a video, which I typically upload all my videos from my computer, unless I've filmed them and then edited them on my iPhone in the iMovie app. But if it's a video that's coming directly off of my camera, I load it into my computer and then I pull it in to do the editing. Once I'm done with the editing, I open up YouTube and then I upload my video directly to YouTube from there. Now on YouTube on the computer, I already have a bunch of stuff kind of like uh, programmed in and set for what goes into the video. But there's other things that I may want to change and because I don't have time to just sit down in front of the computer um, and type in all of that stuff. I like the convenience of being able to simply just do that right from this app. So what I'll do is I'll upload the video from my computer and then I'll leave my computer alone. From there I'll go off to cook dinner or whatever else it is that I need to do for the day. And then when I'm ready to go in and fill in all the back end details and publish the video, I always do that all from my phone. So for the most part, I'm always publishing from my phone. This works really great when you have a ton of videos that you need to edit and upload and you wanna be able to put them up on different days. A lot of times if I know I'm going out of town or something and I've already uploaded a video, it's set to private. Right from this app, I have the ability to go in and upload and change anything, respond to comments and do all of those things. You can also respond to your comments and stuff from the regular YouTube app. I get that and people say that a lot, but I think the convenience of having every single thing for your back end on YouTube right here on an app this was genius so once I've uploaded the video and I'm ready to go in and check it preview it make sure that everything is a go uh, do any final touches or details and then publish it I will come I will open up this app and I'll click on the video we're gonna go ahead and go with this movement Monday video um, this was posted on Monday. This was the one that you guys saw me edit in a previous video. So what I'm able to do here is go into the edit feature 
and now I have the ability to edit everything in the video. I can change the title if I want to. I have the description of the video here. I can change any information in there. This is where I set it to public or private. I could go in and reset this to private or unlisted. Um, I'm gonna leave it at there. Um, I can add this to a playlist, an existing playlist that I have. I have all of my tags in there and I can change all of that around too. My lighting is so all over the place, you guys, so I apologize. It's like a cloudy day, and so the sun keeps peeking out and then going away, and so we just had this like really nice burst of sun, and then the minute I put the camera on me, it like went away. Anyways, um, so for the question I got about how I go in and do my thumbnails and everything like that, this is exactly how I do it. So I can go to edit thumbnail right here. Okay, so once I can tap on that to go to edit my thumbnail, and now this pulls up the same options that pull up on YouTube, these three little spots right here. So what I ended up doing, my battery, of course, Okay, so once that pulls up, now I have all of the same uh, photo options that I would have right here on the computer for YouTube. So these three options to select a thumbnail. What I did was I went ahead and selected the thumbnail that was right here. There is a feature here. There is a feature right here that allows you to download the thumbnail. So if I hit that download button, it's gonna save a photo of whatever the thumbnail is into my camera roll. So from there I went into my camera roll, I edited my photo, and then I went back into here, and then I went to uh, change, and then it's going to pull up all of your stuff, and so you can go into your camera roll, and then of course that's where you can select whatever your photo is and it will change the picture for you right there. So you can add thumbnails on the go from here, you can publish from here, and then you can check all of your analytics from here as well. So if you do not have the YouTube Studio Creator app or the YouTube Creator Studio app, I think that's what it's called. Let's call it the Creator Studio app. <laughs> I just call it the YouTube Studio app. It's something that I use all the time, literally every single day, every time I post a video, um, I'm always working out of this app. Alrighty guys, I will see you over on my Insta stories if you're following me on Instagram, and if not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Damn. Love and lust Damn All of us Give me a run for my money There is no buy